Hi, my name is Mr. Cody Blair, and today we're going to be installing a Grim Speed air splitter for my 2006 Forester XT. The previous owner who owned this put a 2015 uh, Subaru intercooler on here. The problem with this is that if you install a bigger intercooler, you need more air to go to that. With the stock uh, air splitter, you're only having about about three to four inch um, gap here and it only covers about a third of the intercooler so eventually you're only going to initially cool this amount of the intercoolers and eventually entropy will cool the rest of it it's just that if you can split more air towards the intercooler and make it cool off uh, even faster that'd be better the nice thing with this grim speed is it's as you can see from the side shot it's a lot more diverts a lot more air and also they add these two uh, these three notches here which are for um, the uh, sprayers that you can add on um, I can eventually hook this up to my windshield wiper uh, hose I can it comes up to here and I can eventually just put in sprayers and I can spray on an intercooler sprayer um, which would be relatively easy my windshield wiper would actually just be uh, the intercooler sprayer the only tools you really need for this are gonna be a uh, 8 mil uh, socket and I have a rashing wrench just to make it faster. Uh, one of the difficulties in this removing this is this little plastic clip right here. It actually might be stuck so um, I actually took a knife and got underneath it and popped it up rather than using the actual Phillips head. So I'm not going to actually use that again so there it goes and that's how it looks. And next I'm just going to take off the rest of the screws. These are uh, self-tapping screws, so or a five of them. And taking it off is easy as that. As you see, you sort of see the difference in between how much air it actually diverts, just comparing one to the other. Um, so it's just real easy install to do, and should increase basically everything about your car as far as. Um, as far as cooling goes. Um, so just plop it up here. Make sure it's the right way. Uh oh. This way. There we go. And just start these by hand. Ooh, these ones are actually quite a bit hard to get in since the uh I'm going to actually just lift the hood all the way back on the foresters to be able to lift it 90 degrees just for easier access and I'm gonna have to grab so since I can't reach these underneath ones with something that goes in uh, from the top, so I'm just gonna have to grab a ratcheting wrench. All right, now we're pretty much done. Um, like I said, you can grab uh, nozzles that sort of like go into here, and then you can wire them in with your um, your cooler here or your uh, windshield wiper fluid and then you use that to actually cool off your intercooler in case you're in hot temperatures like I am here. It, it can get about 114 degrees, probably get like 112 today. So cooling down this intercooler and making more dense air will obviously make more power, stop uh, precondition, stop ping, and um, just lead to better and uh, more consistent boost. Uh, other than that, it only took 10 minutes to install this. Uh, if you have a bigger intercooler but don't have a bigger splitter, you're actually making yourself uh, hotter air temperatures and it's a detriment to your car. So uh, something like this, that was about like $200 is worth it. So um, yeah, that's about it. And thank you for watching.